So hopefully the like sixth time is the charm. I don't know what's happening right now, but my camera is not wanting to record this. Welcome back to my channel, guys, of Mara Joel. My name is Mara, and today what I want to show you guys is my budget-friendly keto grocery haul. So this week I went shopping at Trader Joe's. I spent about $65. I expect these to last me about like a week and a half if I go and pick up some more groceries about um, a week from now, then it'll just kind of like stretch itself out. I buy on a rotation. Um, so um, if you want to know more about like the keto diet and stuff like that, check out my blog www.jadorjoel.com. Um, it'll have some more information there um, about what keto is, how I'm doing keto, and a couple of recipes. So without any more delay, here's what I bought. So the first thing that I have here are my two staples, my almond milk and my coconut milk. Now I really stand by like non-dairy sources of milk, nut milk if you will, um, just because dairy is not good on my stomach. My stomach doesn't appreciate it. It makes you grow up gassy. It's not fun. I get cramps, stuff like that. Um, and the coconut milk is high in fat and the almond milk is just like low in carbs and stuff like that. So we'll take it. The next thing that I have here is this maple syrup. I really like this as my sweetener um, on my keto diet. You generally don't have like carbs and sugar and stuff like that. A lot of people who do keto like to use stevia. I don't because I don't feel like it's natural. I feel like this is 100% is pure maple syrup. It's not Mrs. Butterworth. It's not Aunt Jemima. So that's not like corn syrup or anything like that. It's just like straight from the tree or whatever. Pure maple syrup. There is a lot of sugar in here use it sparingly, but I like it better than the idea of using stevia. The next thing that I have here are two sweet potatoes. Now I know you're like, sweet potatoes are carb and keto is low carb. You're right, but I give myself a little bit of wiggle room. I'm not gonna sit here and beat myself up because I had two sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are complex carbs. They take your body longer to break down. And I'm not one of those people that's about to like piss on a stick to make sure that I'm still in ketosis. I wanna make sure that I'm full. I wanna make sure that I'm happy and living life and stuff like that. A sweet potato ain't gonna kill me. Um, the next thing that I have is this nutritional yeast. Um, I bought this at Trader Joe's. It's the cheapest that I found it at Trader Joe's. This is supposed to give you kind of like a cheesy taste to whatever you add it to. Um, so I'm excited to try this because I am trying to cut cheese and dairy out of my diet. Um, like I said, because it's not good for me and in general I don't think it's good for most people to eat a ton of it. Um, next I just got a four Roma tomatoes. I'm making a pasta dish this week, so I'm going to throw those in there. Um, another thing that I got that I really like and appreciate um, are these bags of cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's. These were in the refrigerated section of the produce um, aisle, and I like cauliflower rice even though it doesn't have the same consistency as regular rice because cauliflower doesn't have a taste, so you can really Put this with whatever you want. You can make stir fry, you can make fried collie rice, you can make um, like a burrito bowl, anything like that. You can just have this as a side. You can make a little casserole, like a rice casserole. You know, that's what you went into out of this. So that's what I'll be doing with that. Um, I also bought some mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I know, um, I don't know. I feel like with keto, there's the tendency to kind of like go wild and do all these crazy things that you wouldn't normally do. But I know what I like. I like mushrooms, I like peppers, I like onions, I like spinach. And I know that all of those things are fairly cheap and they taste good and you can flavor them however you want. And you can add them in almost any meal without getting tired of them because you can flavor them in so many different ways. So I was out of mushrooms, so I bought some mushrooms. Next thing I got um, is this bag of frozen blueberries from Trader Joe's. These were $1.99. I put this in my keto cereal really really delicious adds a little bit of sweetness um simple blueberries are also um they're, they're like sugar and they're carb but you know you eat them sparingly you'll be fine they're just blueberries next i have these frozen zucchini spirals as well as um, this bag of spaghetti squash that's already been cut up and removed from its shell and these carrot spirals now i like um, pasta substitutes instead of using like low carb pastas just because you get an extra vegetable in there so fiber help you move and also um, 
like I said, just more vegetables. So those are my three pasta substitutes. The next things that I have are some of the most important things. Um, I bought these coconut flakes at Trader Joe's. They were $1.99. These are really good. I put them in my keto cereal every morning. Really tasty, high in fat. And then I also have um, my roasted nuts. Now I use these for breakfast. I use these for a snack. If I'm kind of like on the run, I just need to grab something because I need a little bit of energy to pick me up. Um, and I also got like some frozen spinach and a couple of cheeses to use throughout the week. So that's my keto and budget friendly grocery haul. As I said before, go ahead and check out my blog if you want some more information about the keto diet. I'm also going to try to link um, people who are a little bit more knowledgeable and a little bit more um, like strict on their keto diets. Just so you guys can have an idea of you know what it is and what people are doing. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like to see my face more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love you for it. I'm not going to tell you when the next video is because, sis, I don't know. But you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.